Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Now, how was, how was your weekend? Was it okay? Nice. Here's mine, okay? Uh -huh. uh, I watched the news, uh, and then to cheer up, I watched Ken Burns' Vietnam. <laughs> wow. Slightly less divisive time in our nation's history. Because here's it, everyone is talking about Donald Trump and the NFL. Are you ready for some racial tension? <laughs> now, for the last year, uh, some NFL players have been kneeling during the national anthem to protest institutional racism. It started with then 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick. It was a controversial protest. After all, the singing of the national anthem is a sacred time when red-blooded Americans stand up and run to the bathroom because that's when the line is the shortest. <laughs> Okay, maybe get some pretzel knots or something. Well, on Friday, Trump addressed the football controversy. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now, out, he's fired. He's fired! Wow. Son of a bitch. That was unnecessary. That was unnecessary roughness. There should be a flag on that play, and I'm gonna say a Confederate flag. <laughs> the, um, just... yeah. Maybe so. Yeah, Maybe so. Yeah, yeah. The blowback was immediate. Colin Kaepernick's mom, who, after seeing the president of the United States call her son a son of a bitch, tweeted, Guess that makes me one proud bitch. <laughs> wow. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Moms. Yeah. Moms. Mom. <laughs> Colin's mom is the coolest mom in sports. <laughs> After that, she took the whole team to Dairy Queen and made it rain orange slices. <laughs> Woo! Plus, 28 NFL teams released statements supporting the players. And yesterday, the protest went from fewer than 10 players to a total of excess of 250. <laughs> 250. <laughs> Which is great for anyone in a fantasy racial justice league. There, uh, there were all kinds of demonstrations, right? The players standing in solidarity with their teammates, uh, sitting, kneeling, and locking arms with old-timey carnival barkers. Uh, uh, Trump actually approved of that last photo there, tweeting, Great solidarity for our national anthem and for our country. Standing with locked arms is good. Kneeling is not acceptable. Bad ratings. <laughs> First of all, locking arms doesn't mean they're on your side. And second, ratings aren't the only indicator of importance. I hear nobody tuned in for the Revolutionary War. <laughs> of course, they had a terrible <laughs> ad campaign. It was just yeah. that one guy on a horse. It was right. yeah. Yeah. not good marketing. Terrible marketing. And today, Donald Trump was still tweeting, the issue of kneeling has nothing to do with race. Wrong. Kneeling during the national anthem has everything to do with race. Just like your presidency. Those players... Uh -huh. oh. Oh. Seems oh. like it. A little bit. Oh. A little bit. Oh. Hey. 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 Those players are protesting racial injustice. They're not protesting the American flag. Saying that kneeling is a protest against the flag it's like saying Gandhi's hunger strikes were a protest against snacking. <laughs> you do realize that the civil rights activists weren't sitting at the lunch counter for better grilled cheese. <laughs> Trump continued, it is about respect for our country, flag and national anthem, NFL must respect this. Yes, there are rules when it comes to the flag. There are actually written rules. For instance, one is don't use it on merchandise. Like this Trump Pence t-shirt, only $35. Also, don't hug the flag. <laughs> That's just weird. <laughs> just weird. Hey. 
And it didn't look consensual, frankly. Ah! Ass. I gotta ask the flag. Never stopped him in the past. Never stopped hey. him. And yesterday morning, uh, the Sunday shows were blitzed by Trump's defenders, like Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin. It's not about race. It's not about free speech. They can do free speech on their own time. Yeah, they can do free speech <laughs> on, their, on their own time. They can do. They can do. I actually find it kind of upsetting how easy it is for me to do an impression of him. <laughs> it's not good. Get, got to moisturize. <laughs> you can do free speech on your own time, okay? Right, right, yeah, it's not right. a constitution's not an all the time thing. You got to read the fine print on the Bill of Rights. Some restrictions may apply. <laughs> available only at participating Long John Silvers. <laughs> now, no, 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 no. <laughs> Trump also complained that the football we have today isn't violent enough. Today, if you hit too hard, right, they hit too hard, 15 yards, throw him out of the game. They had that last week. I watched for a couple of minutes, and two guys just really beautiful tackle. Boom, 15 yards. They're ruining the game, right? They're ruining the game. There's nothing wrong with brain damage. I mean... <laughs> Look how far I got. Oh! I got nothing. Oh! Nothing up here. Oh! Oh! Absolutely. Oh! Hello. Hey. Nobody. <laughs> hey, no, man, no. Uh, he trumped on. And you know, when the NFL ratings are down massively, massively, the NFL ratings are down massively. Now, the number one reason happens to be that they like watching what's happening on, you know, with your story. Did you catch that? He's saying that football ratings are down because fans would rather watch Donald Trump. <laughs> that... That's like an inverted Tom Brady. Trump is trying to inflate his own balls. There is one sport that Trump still loves. So proud of NASCAR <laughs> and its supporters and fans. They won't put up with disrespecting our country or our flag. They said it loud and clear. What he's referring to is some NASCAR owners threaten to fire any drivers who kneel during the national anthem. Now, I don't know why NASCAR is responding differently than the NFL. It might be, I don't know. It might be because there's only one African-American driver in all of NASCAR. <laughs> and I'm surprised he can get around the track without being pulled over. Oh, my goodness. Right. Wow. Uh-huh. He's trying uh -huh. to get around. But just... Hey, pull over, son. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> License <laughs> registration, please. <laughs> Sir, do you know how fast you were going? <laughs> Also, what's up with your taillights? They're just decals for Monster Energy. <laughs> <laughs>